Genius on YouTube. Uh, I'm going to go through the 10.9 developer preview of Mac OS X Mavericks and go through the system preferences to see if there are any new additional changes or features along functionality. Uh, I'm not going to go ahead and create, uh, I've already created a few of my accounts and so forth so we can see what the differences are. So let's go ahead and we're going to go through general. Going through this feature and functionality here, there's not any new changes or so forth or additions to the general tab. So we'll get out of here to the desktop screensaver. I did notice that under desktop pictures, there are a few new pictures as this one here, this yellow here. Here we're with the elephants or so forth. And then of course we have uh, this one here, a bunch of colors. And then we have flowers. Uh, those are the only four that I actually see that looks like a big significant difference from uh, Mountain Lion to the developer preview uh, Mavericks. So in solid colors, they all look the same. There's really no difference. As you can see, it just changes the whole background. So we're just going to go ahead and move it back to blue. Uh, pictures here, if you want to add additional pictures, if they're somewhere else hiding somewhere on your computer, you can go ahead and do so. Uh, which I don't have any pictures on here because this is a complete clean image. Only three things I have currently installed is uh, Java, Adobe Flash, and iMovie. I have separate other videos in regards to those specific applications and why they were got installed because individuals have, were having issues or problems. So let's continue further. You have a dock. Everything here is basically all the same functionality and same features. So there's nothing there. Uh, Mission Control, I really have never really use this, so I'm not going to really go over through it. But as you can see, nothing really has changed as well. Uh, let's see, language and region. Uh, I always leave it in English. I am within the United States and with Central Standard Time. Okay, security and privacy. The only thing here I changed is basically the um, applications allowed to be downloaded. I changed it from Mac App Store from identified developers to anywhere because I help a, another colleague of mine who is a developer for Apple products or Apple Mac apps. The file vault and firewall and privacy are all the same in functionality. The only thing difference is here, as you can see, location. You do have maps because that's a new feature in 10.9. Uh, we I do have another video uploaded in my YouTube channel, so you can look through that if you're interested in what about the maps and functionality. Okay, so let's see. We do spotlight. Everything here is the same feature and functionality as normal, uh, as it is in Mountain Lion and other previous versions. Um, notifications. Here there is a good interesting is that they have an option here that says do not disturb. This do not disturb is basically the same thing that you have on your iPad or mobile Apple iOS device which basically no calls, no email, no nothing. It will not even ring your device. Well it will be the, it's the same thing here on the Mac. And uh, you can actually turn on certain features when the computer is sleeping not to bother you or alert you. Uh, but I enjoy all the alerts so because I like to be up to date. Uh, I have these all set up properly. Uh, here's calendar. I have it under alerts, banners. Same thing like on your iPhone or mobile devices of iOS is basically these banners will appear from the top and then they will come down and telling you, hey, there's something there. And the banner will not disappear unless you actually click on it until dismissed. As it states here, alerts stay on screen until dismissed. Whereas the alerts appear on the side on the right hand side and they will disappear if you want to do a selection of a time frame for it to be deleted. As here it says alerts will stay on screen to dismiss. So I enjoy both of them but I'm going to go ahead and try banners out since it's a new feature. Uh, we have Game Center uh, which is great. I have another YouTube video for that. Uh, here's a new one. Here's a keychain and here's RoboForm. RoboForm is something that I have a personal that I have seven years of all my security and so forth passwords. Everything it remembers. Um, I'm kind of new to keychain, so I'm going to give that a try and see how the difference is. But normally, RoboForm, it uses it on any platform, any OS, even Linux based if you wanted to, and uh, it brings everything over. Whereas here's keychain is only specifically for Apple products. Um, uh, possibly Windows too, but we will check into that. Next, uh, let's see CD, DVD, displays, displays. I don't have an external display, so I'm not going to be able to display and how a second screen will actually work. Uh, as I don't have a second display. 
you have energy saver. Uh, only difference here in energy saver is that you have wait for network access. You didn't have this before in Mountain Lion that I recall. Uh, and this is very useful to go along with where you do Find My Mac under your other preferences. Then when you're doing an iCloud account, you, if you have it enabled for wait for wait for network access, once someone is trying to find your computer, your mobile device, they can be able to send an alert through iCloud and then they'll be able to pop up that information and notify your or wake up your computer to make it go beeping, which is kind of cool, I guess. Um, okay, quickly moving forward. Keyboard, nothing different. Mouse, trackpad, nothing different. Printers, there's nothing here. iCloud is a little different here. Um, actually, no. Here's the Find My Mac that I was talking about earlier on the bottom here. But actually, it's not here. It's actually Internet Accounts. When you go here and you want to add a new account, the new additions I see is Twitter. And I do see LinkedIn. So those are the two features that normally you don't see on Apple Mountain Lion. That is something completely new. Uh, these are the two I'll probably have to be looking through or make a separate video for and see how it works and features and functionality. So let's get out of here. Network, Bluetooth, sharing, there's really no differences in any of these three. In Bluetooth, the only thing difference is that here where it says turn Bluetooth on, on the left-hand side, used to be at the very top. Now it's on the left-hand side. That's really the only difference. Okay, uh, user accounts, they're all the same. Uh, parental controls, App Store, I think App Store was different. Yes, App Store was different. Here, downloading new available updates in the background. You can do that. Install apps update. You can see at the bottom of my screen here where I'm clicking is that right in my Mac App Store there is one little icon uh, that says that I have one update for. Since I do not have this option enabled, then this option, that means it will not install it. They would only in download it, but it won't install it unless I have this check mark. So I have it unchecked because I, this is the developer preview. I just want to go through any testing or features and functionality before applying any other updates. Okay, dictation, date, startup, time machine, uh, accessibility. As you can see, this is Flash. This is what I have currently installed, the version 11.7.700.225. Uh, this is working. I have no problem with Flash. I can visit any Flash website and so far. And when I say any website, I've already visited over 9 to 10 websites. I do have an independent video for the Flash, and you can see it live on one of the other uh, videos that I've uploaded on YouTube. Uh, Java, I don't really mess with any of the options or features of functionality in here. Yes, maybe I could. And But since this is a developer preview, I want to make sure that everyone understands that I'm just doing everything from scratch so that there really shouldn't be any complaint about why they're not working. And the only other thing I have installed is the iMovie, which is here on the very bottom. And I do this because I need to use this to upload any of the videos that I've created on this computer. And then finally, the only last thing I do have installed is here is the RoboForm, which is a little green, looks like a Wally -E logo icon. Um, then that's pretty much it. This is just to recall my memory and passwords. All right, so that's pretty much it through the system preferences. Feel free to check out my other videos and feel free to subscribe, keep comments, suggestions, or figure out what you've done and put a comment in there of what you've done, and then I can go ahead and try to replicate that on my end. Uh, what you do need to know is you need to make sure that you download the proper developer uh, preview, which is only 5.01 gigabytes. If you download one that's over or even under, it is not considered to be the developer preview. It is actually one that has bloatware or adware, uh, or actually it's not really adware. What it basically is, it has an automated script that someone created, and it actually obtains your information and actually sends it out to the cloud. So you don't really don't want to do that. So uh, I've ran into that, so I've gone ahead, completely uninstalled that, reinstalled this version, and we're up and running. So just to make sure that what we have is different, here is my, about this Mac, I'm running at 10.9, it's already at 2.5, that's my processor, there's my RAM, here, let's go to more memory. The difference here out of all these menus is storage. If you go to storage, you would actually see the difference, and give it a second, da, 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 da. Uh, there is a feature in the very bottom right hand corner, which is right here. Oops, 
disk utility. Disk utility is actually listed there. On Mountain Lion, it did not have that option. You would actually have to go back to Spotlight, do a search for it, and look, look it up. Uh, there's also another thing. This is, I'm currently using QuickTime to do the screen recording. And on the screen recording, this little icon up here, as I click, has a little circle with a, uh, a square in it. That is the quick time to stop it. Previously, you need to actually lower and move down a window from the main screen or minimize it just so it won't be in the way. So that's actually another new feature that there is there. So thanks, feel free to subscribe, and I will talk to you soon. Good day.